Oh, well, I'm Pennywise the dancing clown. <laughs> Hey what's going on guys, Sinister Forest here, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be playing a highly anticipated game that has been terrorizing people for a super long time, well, kinda, of, since 2013. Anyway, so we're going to be doing a playthrough of Outlast. So for Outlast, I haven't really been through the game, I've only gotten, you know, very, very early in the game, so nothing really good had really happened to me before. Um, and I didn't really continue playing it for the longest time. I'm not really sure why I got sidetracked with something else. Uh, but yeah, we are going to be going back to the game. We're going to be playing through it in just in time for Halloween time, spooky time. And that's everybody's favorite time. If, you, if it's not, then you're lying. Uh, <laughs> and yeah, so let's go ahead and do this. Get into the mood here and let's play some Outlast. All right, here we go with Outlast, guys. So I've never actually played the game all the way through. I've never even really been past the first little bit. Uh, so I'm not really sure what really happens. Uh, I haven't seen people play this. I kind of got bored and turned off their videos or whatever. <laughs> no offense to anybody. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and play through Outlast around the Halloween season, you know, something spooky to give you guys. And this is one of the games that I can pause, so it'll be in parts, so the video won't be like super duper long. But yeah, let's jump into this. Yes. So yeah, let's jump into this. So it says, Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphics, sexual content. All right. And strong language. Please enjoy. <laughs> yeah, well. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn him an intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of the Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can, record everything. You are not a fighter. To navigate the horrors of the Mount Massive and expose the truth, your only choices are to run, hide, or die. Alright. It seems like a, you know, happy game. Department of Agriculture Commissioner Salazar said changing weather patterns were to blame for livestock behavior and encouraged ranchers and breeders to attend this weekend seminar on Beulah Avenue in Pueblo. And if you're out late tonight, you may see some low-flying helicopters near Silverthorne and Leadville. Seems the Arapaho Park Services will be spraying for an infestation of box elder bugs. But do keep all pets and children indoors between the hours. Well, that's always a good sign. Radio went dead. You don't know me. Have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. I did two weeks of software console at Murkoff Psychiatric Systems uh, facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I am very much breaking right now, but seriously, f those guys. Terrible things happening here. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy, going too deep, finding something that could that have been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money needs to be exposed. All right. So Murkoff is a bad dude. Gotcha. That's what I did to my camera before I started filming you guys. I just kind of, you know, smack it a little bit. And it usually turns on, you know. Ooh, night vision. That's always spooky. Objectives are updated in your reporter's notebook containing your notes. 
left on uh, left on D-pad and right on D-pad. Okay. Oh, the door is closed by itself. That's yeah, actually I'm actually a person. Jump. Shut up, controller. I just charged you. Ooh. What am I recording? Oh, oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of remembering how to play a little bit. I just remembered, I think I came in contact with like the first monster and got scared and didn't want to continue, but. I mean, not really, but it's always fun to pretend. <laughs> Try and be stealthy. Make all of the sounds, or make all of the noise possible. Honestly, this probably would have been like the first hint, like probably not to go in there. Parkour! Like everything's boarded and I have to climb up the side of an abandoned looking building, like, and we see some guy randomly running. I, I, I probably wouldn't be sneaking in here. Yeah, this is lovely. I'm supposed to record everything, but I'm supposed to save battery. <laughs> what the hell was that? Sounds like me after I had Taco Bell. Alright, squeeze to... To squeeze through, move towards the gap. Okay. Can't do wait. Uh, oh, so close. No, I don't need to close the door. Hmm. You can reload your camcorder by pressing triangle. Alright. Status patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dreams. Morphogenic engine activity observed at unprecedented scale, continuing stage four, four hormone schedule. Diagnosis spirometry revealed no bronchial accumulation. Matocrit centrifuge again failed to separate. Erythrocytes, highly worrisome. What's happening? I hate when games do that. Alright, no, I don't hate it. I love it. I love and hate it. Ooh. Got any Dr. Pepper? Mountain Dew. Ooh. That just makes me hungry. Cola. Drink it. Cola. Most frightening thing about that is the missing comma. Ah! 
Not again! <gasps> All right. I feel like I remembered that part too, and it still scared me. He's just hanging around. And so is he. They killed us. They got out. The very. You can't. Fight them! You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors from security control. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. You got it, sir. Ooh. Why are all their eyes glowing? That's creepy. <clears throat> All right. I think I need that. I can't see. That's probably where it went. Well, in that case, I'm glad I can't go in there. Little pig. Jesus. Oh, God. That sounded suspiciously like midsummer. <laughs> I, I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. I have a calling. And you probably have a van with candy in the back of it, right? Claim the gospel. New objective. Escape the asylum. Why couldn't I just go out the way I freaking came, man? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Alright. Excellent. You know what? I want another crack at that big guy. I think I can take him now. Having been made of the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic, catastrophic wow, security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the ad, affida, dev, affidavits and testimony establish sufficient evidence to require urgent action on the part of MHS and grounds for the insurance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to the facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By acceptance of this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp or its subsidiaries for the actions of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. Cool. 
don't know what any of that meant, but all right. Cold L2 or R2. Ooh. Smile, you're going on YouTube. Why do you suspiciously kind of look like a skinny version of Baraka from Mortal Kombat? Hey guys! Mind if I come in? from Spongebob. <laughs> Ooh, is this a way out? You know what, if Santa Claus can do it, I should be able to. You will be needing it anytime soon. Hey. Is Outlast really like a long game or side broke broken men and dead television? I'm just gonna let you guys do your thing. Nighty night. Run. I have a feeling. Needed help, dude. Oh, my character's a dick. I'm sorry, bro. I didn't want to do that. I feel so bad. Oh, God. Does that dude look like Mr. Howard from Mike Harley? Man, why'd you have to go hit him? That was stupid. He wasn't even doing nothing. He was just like, you know, slightly choking you. Some people are into that.
You know, when it comes to horror games and stuff like that, I, I, I feel like I'm just not that good at sneaking around. So I feel like I'm gonna die very easy in this game. Cause I literally just run around corners. I don't give a crap about anything. Like my character's breathing so hard, I'm legit giving him anxiety. What's this man? It's like a truck stop bathroom. You know where like everybody shits everywhere except for inside the toilet. Never understood that. Oh. He's still on the ground over there. Behind you all. Oh. Okay. God, I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna get killed. Why is everybody's hands in the toilet? That make no sense. That's cool. I can look behind me when I run. Yeah, let's go ahead and... There you go. Slam the door. That's... That's how you do it. Jackass. find me. <gasps> Go away. I'll just make a run for it. I'm supposed to go into like, like the basement or something? Check it. Alright. 
All right, guys, so that's where we're going to be stopping for this uh, chapter, first chapter of Outlast, chapter one, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and yeah, so we're going to be doing the whole walkthrough of uh, Outlast, and we're going to get scared together. It's going to be a really fun adventure. Uh, make sure you check out uh, future videos. Make sure to subscribe, like, all that kind of good stuff. Check out my other videos. Make sure to continue to support the channel. Uh, I'm going to also be posting up a uh, just a practice run of a Twitch stream that I did of uh, Game of League, uh, just for fun, uh, just to see how everything would work out. And yeah, so I'll go ahead and check that out too when I, once I post that. Thank you guys so so much uh, for following me so far, showing me some kind of support, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, well, I'm Pennywise the Dancing Clown. <laughs>